welcome one and all fellow fans of Clash of Clans from around the world. It is your host, Galadon, and it is another perfect season of CWL for Tribe Gaming. And even though they are in the off season of the World Championship Qualifiers, we are going to take a closer look at what they are doing, what is succeeding in Clash of Clans, and yes, believe it or not, even though I said the meta doesn't matter, we are going to take a look and see what the current meta is pre-2022 updates. Now, of course, the most significant additions to the game in recent updates were the Flame Flinger and the Super Dragon, both of which you will see in action today. It should also come as no surprise that air is still the dominant attack and it is out of control right now. Over 90% of attacks being used are air that are being successful at higher level town halls and at champion one. And that is going to stay that way until we have another big update. So I promise I'm done complaining about it. We will just sit back and watch the amazing three stars and talk about the meta. And just like that guy that has an entire closet full of bell bottom jeans, we're going to sit with our queen charge hybrid and wait for it to come back into style because we know it will. We know it must sooner or later. However, of course, there probably are a few attackers from 2016 with their go wipes trained waiting for that one to come back and uh, it hasn't really made much of a comeback. But okay, seriously, Queen Charge Hybrid is still strong. It's just not the strongest. If you want to dominate at the higher levels of the game, you're using air right now, and that is what we saw again and again and again. Sui Hero Lalo, we saw Queen Charge Lalo, we saw a lot of Super Dragons and a lot of different attacks that have a varying number of different types of dragons, from baby dragons to dragon riders to regular dragons to super dragons, and even the occasional electro dragon. The one theme that we did see that was consistent throughout all of these attacks was a good funnel. That is going to be and always has been the fundamental way to beat any base. Use that funnel, get those troops where you want them to go, and watch the right hand side of this attack. Notice the dragon and the balloons that came out of the siege machine. They are going to successfully take down the single target interno and a few other defenses on the right hand side, including that last archer tower helping ensure success for, I don't even know how to pronounce this guy's name from Tribe, but that guy there picks up another three star and Tribe on their way to a perfect week. Every single war was a victory. Even when I spoke to several of the Tribe Gaming members, they all admitted that they were just kind of goofing around. They weren't very serious and most of them went into these attacks with little or no planning at all. But I guess that is just a testament to experience and to doing the same thing over and over and over again. It just becomes reflex. You know exactly how to adjust your attack, where to drop the funnel, and there you go. Another smooth three star from Tribe Gaming. But let's check out some of the other popular attacks this season including, yes, of course, the infamous Super Dragon. First, it was Electro Dragons that everybody complained made the game too easy and it was too much spam three-starring. Now we've got Super Dragons that are bringing back spam, which, of course, is a favorite style of attack of Galadons, and I have been using Super Dragons to some success in Legend League recently. For the most part, right now, I'm just using them because it's a lazy, easy way to grab two stars, and like I've always said, it is futile to push in Legend League unless you are one of the global top players in the world. Otherwise, don't do it. Don't bother to push. Trust my advice and just push for the last week or 10 days and you'll probably end up at about the same trophy range than if you conducted non-stop attacks throughout the entire season. Unless, of course, you need loot, then go ahead. But okay, that's for another video. Back to the attack. As you can see, Kronos did do a little bit of fundamental funneling. On the right-hand side where the town hall went down, there was a funnel aided by a baby dragon. On the left-hand side, the barbarian king went down the outside alley and there you have the super dragons rolling in through the core. Much like the super witches, the super dragons can kind of make it look like, well, wait a minute, this attack isn't going all that well. We don't have a lot of units left. There's not that much time left. Are we possibly going to be able to pick up the three star? And this is why one of my arguments against super dragons and super witches is that they make Clash a little bit more boring. Electro wizards, hog riders, exciting. Super dragons, super witches, boring. Freeze spells, boring. Rage spells, exciting. You see the trend, right? Yes, yeah, speed things up. It makes the game more exciting, slow things down, and it's just not as much fun and even downright annoying. Now check it out right here. We're down to the final two units in this attack, Archer Queen and the Super Dragon, and they had 16% of this base yet to destroy, but they are going to wipe it out easily. The Archer Queen with her Unicorn, and of course the Super Dragon with that splash damage is going to get in there and wipe out several buildings at once, which makes a huge difference and also lends itself to a change in base design that maybe we haven't seen yet at some levels. 
And this level, maybe not the highest in the game yet, but we'll get to that in just a moment. Kronos wrapping up the three star with the star and the MVP right there, the Super Dragon. Okay, so let's get into the final attack. And as we do, I wanted to talk a little bit about crunching the numbers. We all know that air is dominant, but just check out how dominant it is right now. As in this entire week of CWL, we had 73 star attacks. Now, 52 of those 73 stars were executed by Tribe Gaming alone, so they definitely had the upper hand in this week's CWL. And out of those 73 stars, Air Triples accounted for 62 attacks. That's right. There were only eight three stars in the entire week that were by ground armies. And of course, as you might expect, the most popular attack executed by Tribe was Lava Loon. Lava Hounds and Balloons, whether it be... Queen Walk, Queen Charge, or Sui Hero. And then the most popular attack from opponents. Are you ready for this? Dragons. Regular dragons. Not Electro, not Super, not Dragon Riders. Regular dragons in hybrid style with some other air units was overwhelmingly the most popular three-star attack against Tribe. Now that either speaks to the type of base the Tribe was putting forth in this CWL or perhaps the meta outside of Tribe's tunnel vision view that Lalo destroys everything, which of course it does, but other countries, other clans try other attacks as we have also seen in recent videos. So perhaps maybe I can get permission from Tribe to show some of those defenses if they're willing to give up those bases. For now, we've got Eve Maxi in here dropping a beautiful Queen Charge Hydra, which we have not admittedly seen quite as much of ever since the introduction of the Super Dragon. The Dragon Riders are still very strong, but maybe not quite as predominant as they were pre-December updates. Also, as might be expected, most of the tribe members stuck to the same style attack day in and day out through the seven days of CWL. They used a consistently similar army to get the job done, choosing the base to attack that fit their army rather than choosing the army to fit the base. And that just a little handy tidbit of advice for war generals out there that are running war in their clans for CWL or regular clan war. If you give players an opportunity to choose a base close to their number don't force them to attack their own mirror you may see more success because obviously a lot of bases are going to be vulnerable towards one style of attack versus another having to do with whether they've got single target infernos multi-target internos air or ground expos and where the eagle is placed things like that where the town hall is placed they all make a huge difference in executing an attack although right now yes you can pretty much expect that air is the attack of the day and with this perfect CWL, Tribe advanced from Champion 3 to Champion 2. Hey, I never said they were in Champion 1. Thank you guys for watching all the way to the end of the episode. You know you are the true hashtag Galafam. I appreciate every single one of you. Now get out there and appreciate everybody else. Appreciate every day you have. And I will see you all back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. Would you like to see my new air attack? No, 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 Peter. I do not.